And over there, and over there, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're watching the Big Bang Theory, and this is the 10th episode of the third season. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in the link in the description below. Just clicking it, put a password in, and enjoy. I can't believe we're into double digits. Totally flying. I'm really enjoying it. The last few episodes have been really, really good. And we did get, you know, a continuation of Bernadette and Howard. Um, yes, I actually thought it was only going to be a one episode thing because after they went on their date and had a common interest, obviously, in being being annoyed with the mums, you know, we ended up basically not hearing anything of it again and we got quite used to it in the show in my opinion anyway and like starting something and not really going forward with it, you just like drop it in here and there. But no, last episode, you know, we seen them go on another date, third date it was. She was uh, basically insinuating, look, third date, we can have sex. But I'm not just going to sleep with you if you just want to have a one-night stand. If you want to be in a relationship, then maybe we can, you know, progress further. Now, it took him ages to figure out it. You know, he's pondering. He was like, look, mate, you know, uh, even though she's kind of pretty and, um, you know, we kind of get on, I kind of thought I'd do something, uh, I'd be able to get with somebody better. Someone like Megan Fox in the Transformers. And it's like, that's great, Howard, you know. You know, all of us wish we could do that. We could all shoot for the moon but in reality you got to have a um some sort of uh down to earth type of thinking and realistically how many people have you slept with like you said that you haven't actually paid for not many and you've got somebody right here who wants to actually engage and spend some time with you what are you doing just take it and he went and proposed to her actually which is crazy and she rejected it but then he actually sang a song for her at the end of the episode apologizing and uh she accepted it so mate hopefully we're going to see more of them i'm really excited for it thanks for checking out today's episode if you do enjoy it please smash like it really helps out subscribe if you do and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> It upsets Sheldon when you play with the food. No, it upsets Sheldon when she willy-nilly takes it from the containers without regard for its equitable distribution. You want me to put it back? <laughs> it upsets Sheldon when you play with the Sheldon. Sheldon, I want you to meet my girlfriend, Bernadette. Hello. Leonard, Penny, you know my girlfriend, Bernadette. Uh, hey. He loves saying it. Bernadette, say faux shizzle to my nerdizzles. I hope it's all right. I told my girlfriend, Bernadette, she could join us for dinner. Sure, the more the merrier. Oh, come on, it's fine. We'll just put it all on the table. You know, family style. Oh, sure. And while we're at it, why don't we put our hands behind our backs, have an old-fashioned eating contest? <laughs> Relax, it'll be fine. Sit down, you guys. Oh, yeah, you can't sit there. Why not? Uh, don't you see in the winter that seat is close enough to the radiator so that he's warm, yet not so close that he sweats? In the summer, striking the path of a cross breeze created by opening windows there and there, it faces a television at an angle that isn't direct, so we can still talk to everybody, yet not so wide that the picture looks distorted. Perhaps there's hope for you after all. Oh, I love your shoes. Oh, thanks. They are cute, aren't they? Where'd you get them? Shoes for less. I've been meaning to go over there. Oh, great selection, great prices. My mother was right. Hell is real. Tell them what the women folk chat. Don't take them too seriously. A lot of what he says is intended as humor. It's very <coughs> funny. Me neither. But he just lights up when I laugh. Howard never let her go. If I hadn't gone into microbiology, I probably would have gone into physics. Actually, my tests of the Aronoff bomb quantum interference effect have reached an interesting point. Right now, we're testing the phase shift due to an electric potential. Leonard's work is nearly as amazing as third graders growing lima beans and wet paper towels. <laughs> While I appreciate the oh snap, I'm uncomfortable having your moist breath in my. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. You want to see a simulation on my laptop? Oh, yeah, show me. Your shoes are delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get them? What? Bazinga. I don't care. <laughs> it's not fair. I got stuck behind a tree. And a go and a penguin. Hey, Sheldon, can I talk to you for a second? It's not about shoes, is it? Um, actually, can we do it in private? Go away. <laughs> I agree, it's rude, but she asked for privacy. Wondering if you could maybe teach me a little physics. A little physics? <laughs> There's no such thing. Physics encompasses the entire universe. From yeah, okay, cool. I don't need the PBS special. <laughs> I enough so I can talk to Leonard about his job. Be a massive undertaking, and my time is both limited and valuable. We're sitting here playing video games all day. <laughs> Okay, point. I suppose if someone could teach sign language to Coco the gorilla, <laughs> I could teach you some rudimentary physics. Great! My girlfriend, Bernadette. My girlfriend, Bernadette. Hey, look, it's Howard and his girlfriend, Bernadette. <laughs> I give a little woman a tour of the old salt mines. <laughs> hey, 
doesn't mean salt mines. He means where he works. We're getting the electron accelerator set up. We should be ready to go day after tomorrow. Boy, I'd love to see that. You're welcome to come. Really? Oh, that'd be great. How exciting is that? Like Hanukkah in July. You got me again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack, can you get a shell of salad? Excuse me. Uh, could you grab me another napkin, sweetie? Sure. Thanks, honey. <laughs> what is your deal? Inviting my girlfriend to come see your electron accelerator? Yeah, so? Wow. I, I practically invented using fancy lab equipment to seduce women. You don't want to mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell he's getting jealous. I'm crazy. I believe you. I've extended a friendly, casual greeting. Ready to get started? One moment. Subject appears well rested and enthusiastic. Apparently, ignorance is bliss. Where's your notebook? I don't have one. Well, how are you going to take notes without a notebook? I have to take notes? Well, how else are you going to study for the tests? You're welcome. Now, introduction to physics. You what is physics? Physica means the science of natural things, and it is there in ancient Greece that our story begins. It's a warm summer evening, circa 600 BC. Does this have anything to do with Leonard's work? This is the beginning of a 2600-year journey we're going to take together. Yes, Penny? I have to go to the bathroom. What? Can't you hold it? Not for 2600 years. At Project Gorilla, Entry 2. I am exhausted. I think Sheldon would be a good teacher, though. Somebody so smart like that as well. Like, you know, when you're in class and usually there's many people that are getting taught, you know, the teacher will just, like, read out stuff, but they won't, like, hint. Like, that's a key word, you know, write that down, study on that one a bit. But, like, obviously, one-to-one -one with Sheldon, he'll tell you something. He'll be like, make sure you do that. Make sure you write that. Check that up. Do you know what I mean? First of all, it's already kind of... Um, trained her before, hadn't they? Do you remember when he was throwing the chocolates and she was eating them and he got her to do stuff subconsciously, you know? That's interesting. But also, I'm kind of thinking that this Bernadette now could actually potentially be in the show a bit further. Um, because if she is smart, she'll fit in with the clique, which is good. But also, she's a female, which is good because it also brings another dynamic towards Pe Penny, you know what I mean? That we're two in the group, uh, someone that she can actually spend time with. And yeah, if she's a physicist or wants to be one, it's just another person that can actually work with them. So I actually think she's got potential. Right now, she's kind of quiet, but, you know, let's let episodes progress and the personality obviously come out. I think it could be really good. Hook's in the front. Oh, uh, no way. Oh, that explains a lot. Howard, <laughs> Hey, hey, Ma, can I have lamb stew for dinner? Lamb stew? I'd have to go to the supermarket. Please, I got a real hankering. Oh, I can't say no to my little <laughs> tushy thing. Do you want the regular peas or the lasagna? <laughs> Only lasagna peas with lamb stew. Sorry about that. <laughs> Howard, did you say something to Leonard about me? Uh, what do you mean? He says if I go see his experiment tomorrow, it might weird you out. I, I may have mentioned that it's a little inappropriate to be asking another man's girlfriend to his experiment without first discussing it with said man. Are you saying I need to ask your permission to... I said Leonard has to ask my permission. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, right, why would Leonard actually... T that That's something that Sheldon would do, is, like, Sheldon usually overstepped like, I, I would class that as like an overstep in dropping his name in you know like he could actually drop that text but say it completely different i understand that he's told the truth but you don't go direct to it do you know what i mean like you won't go to your mate's girlfriend and say oh don't do this because you don't like it you wouldn't say that well i wouldn't say that anyway you'd like say it much more well better it's like Half the time, it's Sheldon who doesn't really read the situations. He just blurts it out loud in front of everybody, doesn't he? And then he obviously makes people uncomfortable sometimes. We can see that M-A equals M-G. And what do we know from this? I'd love her to get it right. I would absolutely love it. Uh, Newton was a really smart cookie. Oh, is that where Fig Newtons come from? Uh, Fig Newtons are named after a small town in Massachusetts. No. What, but how can you not know? I just told you. Have you suffered a recent blow to the head? You don't have to be so mean. I'm sorry. Have you suffered a recent blow to the head? <laughs> <laughs> no, you just suck at teaching. Really? I think you'd be good at it. Which one seems the most likely? Back up a little bit. 
warm summer oh. evening. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to get frustrated. People learn at different rates. Unlike objects falling in a vacuum, which... Then I don't know! Why are you crying? Because I'm stupid! One cries because one is sad. For example, I cry because others are stupid. Nenard is attempting to learn why subatomic particles move the way they do. Well, that doesn't sound so complicated. It's not. That's why Leonard does it. <laughs> on a summer evening in ancient Greece. Okay, I got a bone to pick with you. you text blocked me. <laughs> you text her that I have a problem with her hanging out with you. You do have a problem with her hanging out with me. Yeah, but that's not what you tell her. What are you doing here? Same thing you're doing here. Came to see Leonard's experiment. No, you didn't. You said Leonard's experiment was stupid. <laughs> I was just repeating what Sheldon said. <laughs> Let's not get on topic. Did I um, leave you two alone? No, Leonard, you should hear this. Okay, good, because I wasn't really going to go. <laughs> Look, I know I come off as confident. The truth is, I'm not. We're shocked. He had a panic attack once when he got his head stuck in a sweater. <laughs> Why aren't you helping me? I don't know. Maybe because I'm... Crazy. I think, Leonard, should I give him another chance? It's up to you. He didn't call your experiment stupid. Come here, tushy face. <laughs> tushy face, that is going on Twitter right now. The interference pattern was so cool when the electron beam was on. Mm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Most people aren't that interested in what I do. And that's not true, Leonard. In fact, recently I've been thinking that given the parameters of your experiment, the transport of electrons through the aperture of the nanofabricated metal rings is qualitatively no different than the experiment already conducted in the Netherlands. Phase shift in the diffusing electrons <laughs> inside the metal ring already conclusively demonstrated the electric analog of the aronov bohm quantum interference effect. <laughs> oh, wait! Big Newtons were named after a town in Massachusetts, not the scientist. <laughs> that was decent, though. Again, she's... Add a line there that Sheldon usually does. Now, interestingly, Leonard, when he's saying that, yeah, okay, he texts Bernard there, basically saying that Howard, you know, didn't want him to come there because he felt uncomfortable. And, like, that is correct. But it goes back to what I was saying before, you know. When you're a friend, even though he is kind of being a bit of a jealous ass, really, to be honest, Howard, like, it's just common sense. It's just a bit of common sense. It's like bro code. I don't even know what you'd call it. But, like, it's obvious that like, you don't say things or address things as they are you you skirt around it you make an excuse you make it sound less so, you know what i mean like less obvious to the situation and that's what howard did he turned up he's like mate i can't believe you literally physically text her that i was being a jealous asshole you know he's like although i am yeah you gotta say something else which i i actually agree with um i actually do but i would love um i, I would literally love to see penny by the end of the show get so smart from her associations with everybody that she can start having these full-on conversations and understand it and she can actually surprise people as well where like leonard matt after like one one something that i would love right is if leonard was doing an equation on his board yeah and he was stood there and he was thinking he was trying to figure it out if she come over and solved it do you remember how leslie done it in sheldon's one and one of the episodes and uh oh, i may be so good like i love the fact that she's already picking up little traits here and there about obviously this um you know the tv programs that they watch the anime the comics you know she's starting to gather an understanding and she's trying to as well um take part and learn about different hobbies that they've got and the work life which is great you know what i mean association with them obviously expands the palette so to speak in terms of knowledge but my thing that i would love is by the end of the show she could be not on par with them but be smart enough to uh, picked up enough to be able to have a full-on intellectual conversation without him thinking that she's got no understanding of what they're talking about it'd be great to see honestly it really would okay that is going to wrap up today's episode thanks for checking out my channel today hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i've got to say you know uh, I don't know what your opinions are, but the last few episodes have been really, really good. I personally think, anyway, you know, I feel like the season started off kind of slow. I thought season two was the best season. Season one was obviously getting used to the characters. For me, anyway, I always find it hard because season one, it's like, you watch it, it's what gets you hooked. It always has, like, a place in your heart because, obviously, if it wasn't good, you wouldn't sit and watch the rest of it, would you? Let's be honest. Um, but then again, it never really always ranks in people's top three when you do it and, you know, you, you go through them. Only because it... 
by the end it seemed so far away but also at the start it's like slow as well in it to get into it and that's what i thought when i first watched it i was enjoying it but i wasn't laughing in certain aspects and then obviously as it picked up i started to in season two i thought it really took its own stride and i really enjoyed the characters and the uh the relationships and the bonding between everybody and then going into this season i actually like the fact that we've started to move forward between penny and the, uh, uh, leonard and it's not really hardcore force as well which i say all the time it's really really good um but then again, I also feel like it was kind of slow and like some episodes were decent, some were kind of mid. But then uh, the back end of this, well, I won't say back end of the season, but the back end of these few episodes that we just watched, maybe 7, 8, 9, 10 or 8, 9, 10 around there, has been very, very enjoyable. I've really enjoyed it. And I'm happy that Bernadette's been introduced. And I'm interested to see, obviously, how uh, Howard starts to change if his personality does. Because you could see it in today's episode as well, that although he's got a girlfriend, you know, he's going around, he's gloating, he's telling everybody, this is my girlfriend, this is my girlfriend, this is my girlfriend. And then when people engage in her and invite her to do things, then he's starting to get defensive. It's, how dare you actually invite her out without asking permission from me? Do you know what I mean? Personality is changing straight away. So, like, I don't know if he's going to go back to being himself or if he's going to be totally different. Because, obviously, the first two seasons of Howard, we've always liked the lady chaser. Do you know what I mean? The confident guy, the one who's trying to impress and always getting rejected. Um, he's always been the kind of Howard that we kind of fell in love with, the one that's always interested us. But now if he becomes a settled Howard, how's he going to be? He can't be that no more. He's got to focus on his girlfriend. So, I don't know if we're going to change his character or whatnot, but I'm excited to see, obviously, what we do with them. I feel like there's potential as well with her, just because she's interested in, obviously, physics and she knows the field and uh, she actually puts up with Howard as well and uh, you know even when he tells jokes and she don't understand she doesn't actually like complain or anything she sits there and she just takes it and even um, Penny said look mate she's a keeper and you know make sure you don't let her go so I'm excited for it honestly I really am and obviously if you put into what I was just saying there if Penny at the end of the show could be intertwined in that group in terms of intellectually uh, able to have conversations about physics back and forth without anybody actually having to tell her anything she just picks everything up as we progress it'd be exciting as well but thanks for checking out today's episode hopefully guys enjoyed it if you did please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys